What is federalism? Let's find out together. There are more than 7 billion people in the world living in over 190 countries. Some countries are small and homogenous like Norway. Others are big and diverse like India with 22 official languages. How do these countries govern themselves? Systems of government in most countries fall into two broad categories. One is called a unitary system. In this system, power resides with a central government in one place. The central government may create or abolish regional governments and has the sole authority to delegate responsibilities such as education, health, and policing. The other is called a federal system. A federal system means the Constitution divides power between two or more orders of government. In these systems, a written constitution divides power between a government for the whole country, which is sometimes called a federal government, and constituent units which may be called provinces, states, or cantons. Constituent means make up the whole. Some federal countries constitutionally recognize local governments, like municipalities. Here are some examples of federal countries. Canada, Brazil, Ethiopia, Malaysia. While less than 30 countries are federal, they represent almost half of the world's population. One important feature of a federal system is that all orders of government are directly elected by their citizens. The citizens of the whole country elect the federal government. The people within constituent units elect the government of their own states and provinces, and often their own local governments. These orders of government are organized on the basis of self-rule and shared rule. What does each order of government do? The federal government is responsible for common purposes, such as national defense, currency, and foreign relations. The constituent governments usually have control over matters with their jurisdiction. This could include education, health, and policing. Local governments tend to deal with issues of sanitation, water supply, and public parks. In federalism, the federal government cannot take away or change the power of constituent units without their consent, usually involving a constitutional amendment. Why do people choose federalism? Federal countries, also called federations, are usually the product of historical events and the unique result of choices by the citizenry and political leaders. In some cases, federalism was chosen to bring together formally separate units into a new country, like Switzerland, the United States, and Australia. This allowed small independent units to maintain their own uniqueness while forming a larger country for security and economic reasons. In other cases, federalism occurs because a unitary country rearranges itself into a federal one like Belgium or Nepal. Why? to preserve national unity by mitigating conflict between different ethnic, linguistic, or religious groups. The design of the federal model is unique to each country's history, its social and economic conditions, and its local traditions and preferences. Now we know the basic concept of federalism. Thank you for watching.